In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the problem of having your iPhone stuck on the screen which says iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes. And hey, this works on any iPhone model, whether you've got an iPhone 5, 6 like mine, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, any iPhone model. All you need to do is just stick to the video till the end. In my case, I'll be performing the steps on my iPhone 6 Plus in here, and I'm sorry for the cracked screen right here. This is just for demonstration purposes. I know how annoying it is to have your phone stuck here on the screen. This is a very common issue on iPhone users, but do not worry because in this video, I'm going to help you fixing this problem. In order to fix this problem, we're going to need an iPhone USB cable. We're going to need a computer or a laptop. And at last, you're going to need your iPhone, which is stuck on this screen right here. Now, please note that for this to work, your USB cable needs to be a USB cable that transfers data, okay? Nowadays, we've got many duplicate or not original iPhone cables that only charge your phone and they do not transfer data. So we need the USB cable that transfers data. And if you've got an original iPhone USB cable, that's much better, okay? So if you find any issue while connecting your iPhone into your computer, the first thing you need to check is your USB cable. Try switching to a different one because there might be chances that your USB cable doesn't transfer data if you find any issue throughout the process. Now, moving into our computer, I'll be showing you all the steps you need to perform here on your computer. So in my case, I'm using a MacBook laptop in here, but if you've got a different computer such as a Windows PC or a different operating system, do not worry because this works both on MacBook computers as well as Windows computers. So if you're running a MacBook computer, the very first thing I need you to do is go straight to the top left corner, click here on this Apple logo, tap on about this Mac. And over here, you'll be able to see the macOS software that you've got in here. In my case, I've got macOS Big Sur. And if you've got macOS Big Sur software on Words or anything that comes after macOS Big Sur, you do not need to download iTunes. Now, if you have any software which is actually before macOS Big Sur, you need to download iTunes from the link in the description box below, okay? Now, if you've got macOS Big Sur installed or any other later version of operating system, you do not need to download iTunes from the link in the description box below. If you're running a Windows PC, you also need to download iTunes and the link to download iTunes to your Windows PC is also in the description box below. Now, the next thing we need to do is go straight to our internet browser, okay? And we need to go straight to this website, which is ipsw.me, okay? Do not worry because I've also left the link to this website in the description box below as well. So over here, we're gonna scroll down and select iPhone because this is the device where we wanna fix the problem. And then once we're here, we're gonna select the iPhone device device that we've got okay so in my case i'll be solving this problem on an iphone 6 plus so here we go i'm gonna tap here once on iphone 6 plus and then a bunch of softwares are gonna show up here on my screen. As you guys can see, I've got in here different iPhone softwares for iPhone 6 Plus and their respective release date right here. So what you need to do is basically download the most recent version of the software. For example, the latest one for me, it's this one, iOS 12.5.6, which has been released on 31st August, 2022. So what I'll be doing is basically tap here once on the software in order to download the software and then scroll down once again and tap here on download okay simply tap on download in order to download the software because what we'll be doing here is basically reinstall the software into your iphone device so that you can actually regain access into your iphone which is stuck on the iphone is disabled 
screen now all you need to do is just wait for the download to complete it depends on your internet speed okay it can range from 10 minutes all the way to an hour or 30 minutes so once the download is complete you're gonna locate the download in the downloads folder in my case here's the software that i've just downloaded into my computer so in order to make things easier we're gonna copy the software all the way to our desktop okay so just leave it on desktop to make things much easier easier when searching for the file throughout the installation process. Next up, we're going to connect the first end of the USB cable into the computer, but make sure you do not connect the other end into your iPhone device yet. Now, the next thing you need to do here on your iPhone device before connecting the USB cable into your iPhone device is turn off your iPhone device. Now, if you have any iPhone device up to iPhone 8 models, all you need to do in order to turn it off is press and hold the power button right here. Here we go. Press and hold the power button. And then you'll be able to see the slide to power off option right here. Simply slide to power off your iPhone. Now, if you've got any iPhone above iPhone 8 models, for example, if you've got an iPhone X, 11, 12, 13, or 14, in order to turn it off, you need to press the volume down button along with the power button, okay? Press both of them and hold them and then release them and then simply slide to power off your iPhone device. Next up, while connecting your iPhone into your computer, if you have any iPhone up to iPhone 6 models, for example, if you have an iPhone 5, 6, 6 Plus, 6S, uh, 6 Plus like mine, simply connect the other end of the USB cable while pressing and holding the home button. Here's how you should do it, okay? One, two, three, okay? Connect and keep on pressing the home button. Do not release the home button. And in a few seconds, you'll be able to be on this screen right here, which shows the iTunes logo in here. Now, if you've got an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, the process is similar, but instead of holding the power button, you're gonna connect the USB cable while pressing and holding the volume down button, okay? So do not press the home button, simply press and hold the volume down button. Connect and press and hold the volume down button. And lastly, if you've got any iPhone above iPhone 7 Plus, for example, if you've got iPhone 8, X, 12, 11, 13, 14, simply connect the USB cable while pressing and holding the power button. Here's how it goes. One, two, three okay i'm pressing and holding the power button and then in a couple of seconds you'll be able to see the recovery screen here on your iphone device okay and here we go this is how it looks like on any iphone above iphone 7 models now moving into our computer if you've got a macbook running mac os big sur or later models the next thing you need to do is basically open up finder right here and then tap here on iphone okay and you'll be able to see your iphone here in recovery mode if you've got any software which is older than macOS Big Sur do not worry simply open up iTunes that you've previously installed by downloading it from the link in the description box below if you're running a Windows operating system as well tap the link in the description box below to download iTunes and then install it into your computer next up we're gonna click here on restore iPhone but before clicking on restore iPhone we've got here a very important step if you have a MacBook computer, you need to press and hold the option key on your MacBook keyboard and then simply tap here on restore iPhone. Okay, and then a new window is going to pop up, which is this one from where we're going to select the software that we've previously downloaded into our computer. Now, if you've got a Windows computer, instead of pressing and holding the option key, you're going to press and hold the shift key key on your keyboard okay so press and hold the shift key and then tap on the restore iphone button right there next up simply head over to desktop okay and then select the software that we've copied into our desktop in my case this is the software right here i'm gonna select it and then i'm gonna tap here on open okay your computer is gonna ask whether you want to restore your iPhone and then verify it with Apple simply tap here on restore and then keep on waiting for a couple seconds 
As you guys can see, the installation process is right now starting. We've got here extracting software. We just need to be patient and wait for a couple minutes. So here we go. It's now preparing my iPhone for restore. Okay. And you'll probably see a progress bar now on your iPhone device. Please make sure you do not play around with your USB cable. Otherwise, this might affect the connection between your iPhone and your computer. Here we go. The restoring process has now started and all we need to do is just to wait for a couple minutes. Once your iPhone restore process has been completed, you'll be able to see this message on your laptop, which says that your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and is now restarted. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. Simply tap on OK. All you need to do now is wait for a couple seconds and you'll see a progress bar running on your iPhone device. So simply leave your iPhone connected to your computer and wait for a couple minutes. Now, once the installation is complete, you'll be able to see the hello message here on your screen. Simply tap here on the home button and then select your language in order to set up your iPhone device. Next up, select your country or region. In my case, I'll select United States and then tap here on setup manually. Choose a Wi-Fi network in order to activate your iPhone device. Once this is done, just wait for a couple seconds while Apple activates your iPhone device. Next up, simply tap here on continue and then you can set up Touch ID or Face ID. In my case, I won't be setting up right now. Create a passcode. In my case, I'll be using 123456. Use any way. Okay, let me retype my password. And then it's going to ask whether I want to recover my data that I had previously in my device. So the data can be recovered from iCloud or from iTunes backup. Most of the people have iCloud accounts linked and they have backups done periodically. So you need to tap here on restore from iCloud backup in order to restore by logging into your iCloud. In my case, I'll be tapping on don't transfer apps and data. And next up, you need to sign in with your Apple ID. Now, this is the tricky part because in most cases, if you had your iPhone completely locked with an Apple ID logged in into it, it's going to ask you to type in the Apple ID and the password of the previously logged in account right here. In my case, I didn't have any account logged in into this device, but in your situation, you'll most probably need to log in to your iCloud right here. Simply type in the password of the email that it's actually requesting you and then simply tap on login to continue. In my case, I won't set it up now. I'll set it up later in settings. And next up, simply agree with the terms and conditions. Tap on continue. Not now. Continue. Don't share. Let me choose the standard display. Tap on next. And then here we go. Welcome to iPhone. My iPhone is now brand new and I've completely restored and re-enabled my iPhone that was previously disabled. Okay. Simply tap on get started. And now you're free to use your iPhone as a brand new iPhone. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shaq. And if you find my content useful, please like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.